This is the recording studio, project studio, and man cave I built here at home. I've spent years here, recording music and editing video. Not to mention, kicking back, surfing the web, and watching movies. This is really the creative center for getting my ideas together. Let me take you through the space. You might get some good ideas, too. I have a nice, large table. My friend Ramses designed the layout of it. It's birch ply. I wanted it to free float. No legs. I made sound absorbing panels. Five of them. I bought that carpet underlayment stuff. And added a layer of attic insulation too. Then I framed it and covered the front with stretch fabric. Check out the ceiling absorber. It hangs on an angle. I added track lighting to it too. The monitors are KRK's Rocket 5. They sit on speaker stands I made. The idea came from Ramses as well. I sandwiched two pieces of ply with PVC in the middle. I'm using the original M-Box by Digidesign. This is from before Avid took the company over. The studio has a bunch of outlets and all the lights are on dimmers. Check out how cool the ceiling looks. It's painted black and has lots of lights. Also notice the crown molding I added along the top edges of the room. Here's one of my Fender amps from the 90s. And here's my Fender stage amp. Here's my green Gator guitar that I built. You can check that video out here on my channel. A Martin guitar in the back, and the Spanish guitar I used to write all my music on. I've had this since I was 15. My Beatles mug. I also have a security camera station here. I can see all around my property, day and night. It records non-stop. Here's my Carlo Robelli. And here I have my Hofner bass, SG guitar, and Vox Rockabilly. When I was a kid, I wore out the frets on my Gibson Les Paul. I didn't know that it could be fixed at the time. I traded it in for this one. Boy, I wish I hadn't done that. My Ludwig drum set. In this messy side of the studio, I have my mics, a few smaller amps, and instrument cords. Here's the pedal board I built. I also have large black curtains covering the windows. It gives the room a nice clean look with the gray walls and black ceiling. This is the space I spend a lot of my creative moments in. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Subscribe, like, and comment to see more from me. This is Eskaha the Woodworking.